Emily Day is so good to be here with you. <laughs> is this ever starting? Yes. <laughs> it's good to be here with you too. <laughs> Miss you, Ebony Day. No, you don't. Uh, <laughs> you don't. You've been a mum since for so long. You're a mum. This is wonderful stuff. And you have a book. You have three books. Three books. books. Look I noticed at you didn't you. get the first one out. Thank you, Brett. There she is. Uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, God, sorry. Um, yeah, it's my cat. Yeah, I love it. Can you tell me the story of how this all came about? So, about 10 years ago, we bought a little place in Italy. Yeah. It's specifically Salento, which is the, the, the south of. Don't tell everyone. Everyone's the right going the there. Shut up. We rent our place out, and yeah. there's this uh, lovely cat called Plaxi who was hanging around. <laughs> yeah. And You're Plaxi crazy. was heavily pregnant, uh, yeah. and I came, had to come back early for work. And then my wife Dee called me and said, "She's having her kittens in our in, my, in our pillowcase." And then Dee stayed up all night, and there's this incredible piece of, ah. piece of cat midwifery. And then these four <laughs> kittens came out, and that was it. We just went well. We've We're got having to have dibs. A couple, yeah. <laughs> and so we had Silver and Toto. Now Toto, um, we realised quite quickly, was was almost 100 percent blind. And the era wasn't doing X Factor. I thought to myself, well, what, what, what do I want to do? I've got... I was really sad when that happened, by the way. Like, I was like, mm -mm, I need you back. No, well, <laughs> thanks for your, your letters worked. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I remember I woke up and I thought, well, what do I want to do? And I thought one of the things I want to do is, is write more. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple of ideas and Toto was one of them. And I went into a, the publisher and they said, yeah. listen, we like the idea. Go away, work on it. Went away, worked on it. And Toto, the Ninja and, it, and the Great Snake Escape. But started. I remember I went I got this deal and, I, and they said to me, great, we really like the idea. Mm -hmm. um, let's do a two book deal. And in the room, I was like, this is fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. I sort of shook everyone's hand, yeah. shut the door. And I was like, I don't have another idea. I've just got one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one second You're idea like, is. oh no. Exactly. <laughs> Toto, please <laughs> do something funny. Yeah, exactly. Look at the way she's going up the wall. <laughs> Um, so, uh, but then the ideas started to come to me. And yeah, then now I've got, started, I can't stop. I love the drawings. Yeah, I was really lucky. I met this lovely guy, Nick East, and he's really made Toto kind of come to life. So he's, he, you know, he's, he's illustration. Look at the his illustration. Like, what oh, the hell? Wow. That's magic. What is going on, Channel <laughs> Mom? I've never seen anything like that. Why would that? you steal my words? <laughs> Best book I've ever seen. There we go, that's more like it. Yeah, his illustrations are fantastic. We actually have a surprise for you. Is it my book with the actual words in it? You can keep that if you want. <laughs> that nice little blank one. Woo <laughs> um, we asked a bunch of the Channel Mum kids to ask you some questions. Brilliant. They've asked you some... Um, I'd say some are a bit savage, to be honest. But what are you them in for? They're kids, so you have to well, be nice. Well, you can vet children, can't you, Ebony? <laughs> thing you've ever done mm. i mean to start with how is he 13 yeah i know i thought that i was like ah yeah 13 that's cool isn't it? <laughs> yeah i wish i was like okay cool. i was always quite a good child um because i'm catholic it means i'm you, you're scared of everything so you just think you're, you're, you're a good you're one. so guilty no I'm, I'm you're not good but you're just what you're just permanently feeling guilty you're just scared <laughs> hi Janet. are you rich Oh God, he's cute. unbearably cute. What did he even say? I, I mean, he said, "Are you rich?" Oh, I see. <laughs> Harrison, I've lived a while now, so I would. It, I wouldn't call myself rich, but I've got enough steaks in the freezer. My question is, can you dish some dirt on Simon Cow? So his parents named him after Cedric Diggory. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is. Who do you think? You Sorry, I don't think it's that good. <gasps> And we need to terminate this interview. <laughs> Who is your favourite judge on The X Factor? Tell me the truth now. He is adorable. Tell me the truth now. now. Oh, you legend. <laughs> All right. Nicole Scherzinger. Ah, oh, is she the best? <laughs> she's a combination of nuts, fun, brilliance, mm -hmm. insanity. She's got a great voice. Yeah. And she's a really good mentor. My question is, are you as strong as my daddy? Oh my god! <laughs> she's so cute! Oh my god! I need to squeeze her! It was just like a moment of just how unbelievably adorable that child is. <laughs> she was so cute! I'm not, almost certainly not as strong as your daddy, sweetheart. Uh. Um, and your daddy is, I'm sure, is a, is a very strong and loving man. My question is, can you please pitch me your book? It's like you grew up in a, some sort of photographic studio. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his bedroom? Perfect lighting. He's the coolest 
set. I've never <laughs> oh, seen. I didn't see. He's got like a big film <laughs> light behind him. His mum's a YouTuber. Uh, Logan, my book is about my cat. My cat is blind, but she's got incredible superpowers. And that's a true story. She's got incredible ninja-like powers. Uh, but at night, she goes out and she solves crimes. And um, she has three crimes in those books. My question is, why are your trousers always so tight? What is this, 2008? I now actually quite enjoy a, 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 a high-waisted, wider trouser with a taper <laughs> and, a, and a pleat. Yeah. Firstly, you're not 13. You're at least 17. That makes no <laughs> sense. I love science. What is your favourite element? Oh, I don't even know what an element is. Yes, you do. Do you? Yeah. Water. Is that an element? Oh, I think so. If it's on the periodic table, it should be an element. Is that right? I mean, you know more oh, than me. I love me. silver. And you, you were talking about gold earlier. Silver up there on the top. Yeah. I'm just going to stick with water because I think water's on it. My question is, have you ever farted and blamed it on someone else? I have <laughs> never farted. Period. If I don't do that one at school, can I just be a TV presenter? Most of my actor friends have had exactly that conversation <laughs> with me. <laughs> hey Dermot, if you and Simon ever need a weekend away, our house is free, you know? And uh, Simon can test you for the X Factor 2025, yay! He <laughs> is not short of confidence. No! <laughs> what's, what's his deal? He just wants to know what you think about singing. He's got a great voice. Yeah. But you are better qualified to answer that because you, Ebony Day, everyone watching, has a sensational voice. And you might think that I'm a fool for falling over you. They should totally you. do nursery rhymes lullabies. Yeah, I actually want to do that, you know. I really want to do that. I'll do BVs. You'll do harmonies. I'll do BVs. I'll stand behind you. <laughs> the click. It's my, You've my been BV practicing. I know my own strength. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we are actually coming to the end of our chat, so thank you so much for being here. I missed you. <laughs> I'm really glad that you came, and I'm really excited. Congratulations on those things. Thank you. Congratulations on your books. You. They're awesome. Your children are more awesome than my books, let me assure you. Congratulations. You don't know them yet. She's a right tantrumer. Oh, little shit. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs>